Hey guys, it's me Zane and today I thought I'm gonna make finally a collection update. Oh. So the thing is, I didn't make too many collection updates uh, recently since, I don't know, I had a new idea in my mind how I want to do that, so I waited with it. So the thing is, and my idea is, I don't want to make a collection update every month because that's like super fast. Yep, see that is my phone. Because that's super fast. Um, monthly update for orchids is like, I don't know, I'm gonna show you that this grew one centimeter, that grew one centimeter, especially in the winter time. So I don't want to do a collection update every month. But instead of every month, I want to do a collection update every season. It's kind of logical, you know, it's like what happened in this uh, season and that season and that season, it's, it's kind of logical to me. At least to me, so I'm gonna do a collection update for every season from now on. And so today, since it's the, well, beginning of September, I thought I'm gonna do my first seasonal collection update. And uh, right now you might think, oh, so this is the uh, autumn collection update, but, um, well, the title says it all, but no. Since I'm gonna do a seasonal update, therefore I'm gonna show you what happened in that season. So. I can only show you what happened in the season if I do the update at the end of the season. So right now it's the end of the summer, so I'm gonna do a summer collection update and I will show you what happened this summer and what happened since I didn't do any updates. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Let's start that shit. Okay guys, so let's start with the outside rustic windowsill stuff. So here we have this epidendrum, pseudepidendrum, which had a spider mite infestation. Oopsie. So I treated it and now it's starting to grow this little growth and I'm really hoping that it will grow bigger than this because the spider mites did their effect there. Okay, the next two things are the Ancestrochylus Rothschildianus thingies. This one is just waking up and starting to grow, which is pretty late. And this one, well, I got this in Budapest because I wanted to have another one, which is like matured in the summer, so it's like this right now. Next up, we have the Cattleya Princess Jackie. Well, it's growing its new growth, which is this big, well, it's not big, it's tiny, since it has a pretty poor root system. If this new growth will have new roots, that's great. Okay, this is my Neophenicia falcata, and it's pretty tiny because I lost three crowns due to crown rot. Uh, I lost those crowns due to crown rot because when my mom was watering my plants when I was in Egypt, she got water in the crown. So yeah, this is what I'm left with. Oh no! This is the Thalnopsis bellina growing a new leaf but no sign of flower spike so this is what it, this one is doing right now. Here we have a Dendrobium Thalnopsis. I suck with Dendrobium Thalnopsis. No matter what, they always die for me and dry up for me and stuff like that so I'm not sure what's gonna happen with this one. Well, it has this new growth which is really not growing so I'm not sure what to do with this one. Okay this one is my funny Oncidium. I made a funny video when I got it. The Orcaholic Confessions or something like that. I will link you the video. This orchid grew this growth and something happened to this leaf so it doesn't have a tip right now but I'm really hoping for some flower spike because I think and I heard this is a flurry first hybrid and it's fragrant. This is my oh geez, I forgot the name. This is not the Miltasia Shallow Tolkien, but the other one is something like Dark Star or something like that. I don't know why those bulbs are so shriveled, but it's growing two growth. This is one growth, and the second growth is here and it's pretty big and I think I'm gonna get some flower spikes because it's big and healthy. We have some juicy roots going down into the medium. It is doing very good but wrinkly bulbs. Why? Why is that happening? I'm really not sure about that. Okay this thing here is my white dendrobium phalaenops is the spring dream pollen. Yeah it started to bloom with like five blooms. What are you thinking? Your season is in the spring. Why? Why? It's doing fine. I separated it when I was an orchid bloom so I had their more tiny division. oopsie, more tiny divisions but they are starting to grow 
big pseudobulbs so I'm really happy for that one. This one is the Dendrobium Jenkinsy from Rachel and I will show you the video when I got it. That is the new growth which is growing slowly but it's something so I'm crossing fingers for this little dendrobium here. This Kalea right here is a white no ID hybrid. Oh and if you were wondering what is Princess Jackie and you're not finding it, it's just a name made by Miss Orchid Girl. <laughs> and I'm in so love with that Princess Jackie but this is a pure white hybrid as well. It was a tiny little division and it's starting to grow a new growth so that's great. It wasn't doing so fine but yeah it's something. It's not the Princess Jackie, it's something else but it's pure white. Next the stuff is this one. This is the Sofra Lilio Cattleya Lil Hazel M. And I don't have many Cattleyas because I don't have luck with them, I cannot rebloom them, but holy fuck, look at that. I have buds coming up there. You see that? I have some buds peeking through there and I'm so happy. Oh jeez. This is my first Cattleya rebloom ever and I'm so happy that I cannot tell you. Wanda Luzonica Seedling. It has a juicy root. Hey guys, look at this juicy root there. I love it. So please grow big and tall and bloom. Okay, this guy right here is a Ancythia hybrid. I got this in Budapest. It was in bloom and then it lost all of its roots. So it's looking really bad right now. Wrinkly bulbs and new roots starting to grow, but really slowly there. This is V and there's my shadow this whole thing here. <laughs> this is the Ancyclia brassavole starting to grow three new growths and I'm not sure why it is doing like that but this is the one with the curved pseudobulb. Look at that it's nearly straight up so I'm really happy for that and there is one new growth there is a growth which is growing and this one is growing as well so i'm not sure why is he doing that no id dendrobium species or primary hybrid it has a new fat bulb but no blooms why 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 are you doing this with me look at the new growth how juicy and fat this bulb is compared to the previous one and it had previous spikes on skinnier bulbs so why? Please blue. Okay, this is the Cattleya Leco Peach Sun. Well, it has a new growth, which I hope, I really hope it will bloom because I want to see the blooms and it had, but look at that. This huge bulb was grown in spring and in summer with a lot of light. As you can see, there are a lot of purple parts in it and no blooms. So I'm really hoping that this one will bloom. Okay, this is the Bressa Vola David Sanders or something like that. Well, it has this huge book. It's it's growing so slow and it has this new growth here and it's growing super 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 slow. This is a yellowish pinkish dendrobium nobly doing pretty great. Like all the nobili hybrids. Now look at this beauty, Hoveara Lava Burst Red Bug. It has this six spike thing going on and it's just fabulous. And the first blooms are already open, look at that. These red blooms are so, so saturated. They are totally red. Well, this thing right here is the Project Cadacetum. The Cadacetum Charisverdii crossed with the Ornitho IVs or something like that. Well, the new growth is really not big. It's like the same size as the previous one but my best friend's one wow, it's fabulous he has on his catacidum a huge juicy bulb and I'm so so jealous I think it will bloom this autumn Miltonia Spectabilis Moreliana doing not so great I'm not sure it's just doing it thing so slowly I have that Hoya there it's, it's growing I have this Oncidium Catherine Zuck with three spikes. Look at that, I have those three spikes going up there. So that's great. Wanda, Naoki, Kawamura. Well, pretty great. It, ha it has a new, new root, so that's a good thing. Wrinkle Stylus uh, Gigantia Orange growing really, really slowly. Mm, this is my Catacetum, aka Fabulousness. Oh, how is it called? Pubi? No, not it's not Pubicolix. It's something like that. It, it, I think the blooms are really ugly green. Well, it has these two huge growths which are just plumping up, so that's great. This is the... Uh, what is this? Lycasti Aromatica, totally ruined by spider mites. Actually, the new growth was totally ruined by spider mites. I treated it, but it 
fell off. So he's growing a new growth right now. Please hurry up. The winter is coming, please. This is a primary hybridish Falnops. This is doing great, growing some new roots and leaves. This is a red epidendrum. Well, it has spider mites, but I treated it. Now it's starting to grow really nicely, so that's great. This is a new growth, and I hope it will bloom. Please bloom. Well, this one is the Lelia purpura crossed with the Brassavola nodosa or something like that. I'm not sure about the name. It's growing a new growth there. Oh Jesus! What are you doing? Please don't ruin your plants. That is new growth, it's growing, so that's fine. That's great. Oh, we have some juicy roots going down in the medium. Okay, and now the Vandas. Where are you? <laughs> I cannot find it. Okay, this is my paraphone of this Labukensis. Not doing anything. It stopped growing its spike, it's not doing anything. Yeah, and my Vandas are starting to not do so great. I'm not sure why right now but they are all just growing and that's that this is my brassavola hybrid which is the brassavola kilani stars growing new growths one interesting thing about this plant is i will tell you after the car will go away okay one curious thing about it all the new growths have two leaves like like this look at that Two leaves from one growth and all the new growth show this pattern and I'm not sure why is this happening. Look at that, this is a new growth too with two leaves coming up so I'm not sure. Uh, this is a Senecio and up there we have the mounted Falnobsis which well I kind of abandoned it a little bit so it's not doing too well because it was dehydrated but it's growing starting to grow trying to grow actually okay this is the epidendrum parkinsonianum i broke up the new growth look at that blue zane zane hell no please zane what are you doing stop doing orchids stop orchiding the plant looks fine though but mounted phone doing pretty great and a not so great doing fun ups is there. Okay, there we have the hanging Kokedama stylish orchids. This thing, the first thing from the right, this is my Dendrobium Anosmum growing super slow. Look at that. This is all the growth it created this summer. It's growing super slow, but it's something. And we have a cakey there. Next thing, this is my Dendrobium Optimum, which is actually not one plant, but actually four plants. New growth. Pretty late. What are you doing, plant? Dendrobium nobili kokedama. It's doing great. I have no doubts it will bloom again. Okay, so here is my Holcoglossum wengii hanging out there. Not doing too great. I think it needs more moisture. And this is my Bulbophyllum longissimum. I think it was too stressed out and it's putting out two tiny growths which is bad i will show you we have some tiny growths here oh jesus the wind is blowing we have some tiny growth here as well but it's a progress we will be getting bigger and bigger growth soon okay this one of this is super dirty but well yeah i have to clean it up but it's going fine look at that new leaf coming up new roots growing in the medium it's doing great Oh, I forgot to show you this one. This is in between the two pane, two layer window thingies. This is my, oh geez, how are you called? On Seedium. I love this one. It has white and red blooms. Well, yeah, that sunburn. It has a new growth there. Jesus, how dirty is the window? Well, I'm hoping for some blue. There is my Bulbophyllum Echinolabium. It has a new growth, I don't think it will bloom, I think it needs more light, so I will put it somewhere else. Bulbophyllum lepidum on the bird feeder mount. Well, it's growing slowly, but it's something. It, it, it's growing. I have no doubt it will bloom after a time, since it did. Promenia. I repotted it into Ceramis, the tiny one. It has these spots when it's summer and it grows leaves back when it's winter. I have some shriveling here because this is a tinier division but on the bigger division not so much. It, it is looking great. I'm not gonna show you the saving mode Falnabsis because they are all the same. If there is something interesting I'm gonna show you that. Okay this is an Oncidium 
Splash. It, it is a really dark Oncidium, but this is a Splash variety, I'm missing the name right now. It has a new growth, so that's great. This is the Aquarium Masdevalia, and there are the pandas in the reflection of this glass thingy, so I'm not gonna show you this one from here. Okay, so here is my Masdevalia. It's not doing too much, it's growing really slowly, but it's growing. It's not dying, so that's great, right? Zygo, Zygonesia, or I don't know what is it exactly, but it's growing. Still, those spots are on the leaves, but after my treatment, link in the video, after my treatment these spots stopped spreading, so that's great. Actually, one of you suggested that it is spider mite damage, I'm not sure, maybe, but there are no mites on this plant anymore. Actually, I didn't spot any mites on it, so I'm not sure. High up there we have the Oncidium which I saved, the Dendrobium nobili which I saved, link in the video description box thingy. Here is this Phanopsis which is the Phanopsis Cassandra crossed with the Schilleriana I think. It had spider mites, I treated it with the oily solution and Look at this leaf, it's so ugly, but it's really starting to actually grow new leaf and new roots and this is really tiny blooms and it's fragrant. I love it. That leaf is promising, the new roots are promising, so yeah, I'm really hoping for some bigger and bigger leaves from this one. Follow up this Ever Spring Prince, still in bloom, still gorgeous, I love these blooms. Here we have some Fallen Up this, they are just here together and that's that they are growing and that's that okay and the last section is the very messy shelving unit I have here so this is my hybrid Puffiopedilum which is doing really great not blooming but it has a lot of growth so that's something right Cattleya Princess Jackie which I saved as a front bulb because it had Fusarium well, look at that! This is the first bulb it created on its own, so it's pretty tiny. And look at the base. We have a new root tip emerging and a new growth emerging also, so I'm really hoping for a bigger bulb from this one than the previous bulb. I think it will make a recovery. Look at this tiny thing here. This was the plant which came along with the, the Hokoglossum vengii, which you just saw outside hanging out there. I'm not sure about this one. I had two plants there, two tiny seedlings. The other one died and this one is still hanging on and while well, I'm trying to provide the best. This plant is a, the Pleurothalis stricta and well, it's doing pretty great, I have to say. It's really not fussy about water, it can do really well in hard water as well. It's not fussy about humidity either, well, yeah, it's not blooming, but it's creating thousands of leaves, like, <laughs> look at that. I have thousands of new leaves and the roots are really attached to this clay. This is a Oncidium hybrid, I call this the funny story Oncidium. I bought this Oncidium too or three years ago. This was one plant, but right now it's like two divisions. Right now I'm keeping it in this jar because I want more humidity around the root system and I want more roots and stuff like that. I repotted it, it was doing really just worse and worse and then all the leaves fall. Well, I didn't have the heart to throw it out, so it was just lurking in my collection in a decorative container in the corner without medium. I did not water this for two years. I mean really, I did not water this for two years and finally I just made up my mind. I removed everything which was dead and all I am left with is this one and I want new roots so I put it in this humidity container thingy. Well right now it started to wrinkle. When I removed everything which was dead, I did not water this one for two years. There was not a single wrinkle appearing on it and I have here a new growth which looks promising, a root there is another root which I think it's dead. No, no, it's not dead. And I think I have another growth on the other division. Yeah, I have a new growth there. So I'm crossing fingers for this one because I'm curious about the blooms. We all have this orchid in our collection. If you do not care for it, it survives everything and it just doesn't want to die. 
when you start to care for it the best as you could and you provide everything what it needs, it says no thank you, I will die rather, okay? On this part of the shelf we have um, some rocks <laughs> and this is my Gongora Galliata variety flower which lost all of its leaves and I'm not sure why and it's growing new leaves there and new growths and new pseudobulbs there so we'll see what's gonna happen with this one, I'm not sure but this one grew like five or six spikes all dried up. What are you doing plant? This is a Brassia hybrid, I want to sell it. Yurikone Galliandre crossed with the Oranges Cochiana, which is the Yuri Oranges Gallian Koch. Oh jeez, how I hate that name! How can you come up with this name? Okay, so I have these three seedlings here. If you are curious why I have three seedlings, well, check the video about it down in the info box because I cannot fit so many links in the info card thingies in the corner there. They are growing really slowly. I think they are still acclimatizing to my environment. And this one gained some spotting plant. Just don't, okay? Don't. I like these seed grown monopodial hybrids. So if you have any ideas about them, let me know because I want to collect them all. These primary intergenerative foundacious types. I love them. Dendrobium Lindley, which grew a pretty good amount of new roots and a pretty good amount of new uh, bulbs. I'm really hoping for some blooms next season and there are two more plants which I'm gonna show you right now this is my these are both fallen up the species this is the um, 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 how are you called cornucer river at the shuttle day so it has dark really nice flowers well it's growing a new leaf it's growing some new roots there as you can see new roots everywhere and I have to put this thingy here this plastic thingy so the root will go down into the medium and not outside because I want Roots in the medium, not outside. Fun of this Schillerianna with these huge gorgeous leaves. But it's still not acclimatized to my environment and it's not doing anything. Be a little bit faster, okay? Start to grow, start to grow new roots, start to grow new leaves. Please, okay? Please. I love you. Love me back, okay? Please. Okay, and finally, I forgot about these plants. This is my well, no, this, I think this is the Sogo Yukidian, I'm not sure about that, but it has huge white blooms. So this is the final of this, maybe Sogo Yukidian, maybe not. It's growing a new leaf, I have a sunburn there and it's growing some new roots into the medium. And these two orchids are the orchids from my mini series, How to Save Orchids. If you're curious about that, check out the info card and check the links in the info box, I think they are really useful videos. So this is the other part of the Oncidium, the first part of this Oncidium you could see in this video somewhere previously, I'm not sure where, and that one is the Dendrobium Phalaenopsis. I cannot say that they grew any bit from that point, I think it was two weeks already. Time's flying, right? Maybe this one grew a little bit, but I'm not sure. So basically, no major things are happening with these ones right here. Okay guys, so this is my video for today and this is my this is my update, my summer collection update, summer orchid collection update for today. I think I'm gonna do these seasonal updates from now on. I'm not sure for how long, but we'll see. And I'm just trying these out, you know. This is my video for today and I hope you liked it. And I hope you have a little bit of an insight into my collection, what's happening and update on the plants and stuff like that and what kind of plants I have. I think I covered everything, I'm not sure, maybe I left out some plans, but if I did, well, we'll see them in the next collection update. That is my video for today, hope you liked it. If you liked it, click on the like button, leave a comment. If you are curious about any plans, what's happening with them, if I did not say the names or something like that, or I didn't provide enough information about it, just leave a comment and I will answer to you. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, you can subscribe to my other channel, and you can find the links all down in the info box, and you can follow me on Instagram also. And yeah, see you next time. Bye, guys.